Hi there, students. A ream also actually is a verb to ream, but I think to me more commonly a ream. Okay, a ream is a quantity of paper. It's 500 sheets of paper. Uh, and to me, that's the, the, the basic meaning. But we use this in uh, figuratively to say a, a lot of something, particularly writing. So um, he used reams of paper to write his essay because uh, his computer was broken. Yeah, now, long, now uh, it's no longer common to use reams and reams of paper because uh, we, uh, we use computers. Okay, so um, a ream of, but normally we say reams of, a very large amount, particularly a very large amount of information. Yeah, um, I think in the past it used to be on paper, but now maybe different. So um, I had to give them reams and reams of information. Yeah, I had reams of paperwork to do. Um, there was reams of data on the subject. There was. There were reams of data on the subject. Yeah. Um, okay. So a ream. Yeah. A quantity of paper, but generally a very large amount. Yeah. I've still got reams of work to do, and I'm going to be home late tonight. Yeah. Um, okay. So to uh, reams of something, huge amounts of them. Um, there were reams of people that came to the event, but most commonly reams of, reams of information, reams of paper. Okay, I wanted to go back to this ream of paper because there's some really good words associated with this. So a ream of paper is 500 sheets, which is made of 20 choirs, Q-U-I-R-E. A choir is 25 sheets of paper. Notice it sounds exactly like the choir that sings. Okay, um, so a ream is 500 sheets, which is made of 20 choirs. Um, you then have a bundle of paper, which is a thousand sheets of paper, or 40 choirs, or two reams. And then you even have a bale of paper, which is 5,000 sheets, which is 200 choirs of paper, 10 reams of paper, and five bundles of paper, which is one bale. Okay, that, that was just some interesting words for you. Notice, in a ream of paper, all of the sheets of paper are exactly the same size. I think probably most commonly A4, but a ream of A3 paper, for example. OK, so there are reams of videos in my uh, uh, channel, yeah? And there's reams of information for you to do. OK, so reams of, a very large amount of, a huge amount of. OK, now let's look at some other meanings of this. Um, in, in the UK, you can also use this word ream to talk about froth or to ream, to froth over. Although I think this is quite, uh, quite an unusual word. And then in the US, they use the verb to ream, meaning to make a hole larger, using a special tool called a reamer, which you bore a hole. I think I might call it a gimlet in English. OK, so to ream, to make a hole bigger as well. Yeah, you can even actually use it to ream at someone, to yell at someone, yeah, to tell them off. OK, but to me, a, re a reams of, large amounts of, n almost always in the plural, loads of, piles of. This is a good word to use instead of a lot of. Yeah, I've still got reams of things to do today. OK, now, formality question. I think I've got reams of things to do. I'd probably give it a 4.75 in formality. Um, I think you could use it in an informal conversation, in a semi-formal writing, perhaps in something very formal, 
uh, a large amount of. Um, a ream of paper, five in formality, use it uh, anywhere because it's a, t a technical meaning. Um, let's see this ream meaning to froth or froth. Um, I think this is dialectical and very unusual. Um, I'm not sure I would use it. And then this, this verb to ream, to enlarge a whole, to me this is very American. I think probably five in formality as well. <coughs> okay, and then as to origin, well, a ream of paper comes from an old French word, uh, a rem or ram, uh, a meaning a ream, which actually comes from an Arabic word apparently, uh, rizma, meaning a bundle. But I'm sure there are some of you out there who could uh, give me give us much better information on that. So, reams, yeah? You've got reams of time, don't worry, but reams. A large amount of, but generally information, something on paper. Yeah, he's written reams of poetry. Yeah? He's written reams of uh, different examples for this video. Enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Ream.